lights, camera, action, Malignant spindle cell tumor. Pagkasabi ng tumor, cancer ba to? 12 years ako lang dun sa select na yun. Tapos nagkakancer pala yung hinalabas nun. I was diagnosed with with synovial sarcoma, a soft tissue cancer. At 2016, I was turning 17 years old back then. It's Javel here. So today, um, I decided to continue this kind of vlogging so that you and I, we, you know, can join my journey in fighting this kind of sickness that is cancer. You know, just cancer. It's cancer. Small thing. I have a bigger God. life story ko when I was in grade 2. Kasi nga, sobrang behave. Lalaro po kami at then, nakaluhod po ako sa kanal. Ayan, ang galing-galing na ko. Then, when I was in grade 3 na, um, doon po namin na-notice na hindi na pag-bebench yung leg ko. Parang na-frozen na po yung right leg. Napacheck ako mi sa ortho. Yung findings is mas mahaba daw po yung paa ko kasi sa kabila. The solution is to shoe lift. But then, hindi ko po siya tinuloy kasi I always trip. Bata, gusto kong tumakbo, besh. Grade 10 po, they found out a sa biopsy po is a malignant spindle cell tumor. When na-announce po ng doctor ko na may, na may cancer nga po, sabi ko kay mama, mama, no, I need to go to school, I need to see my friends, and hindi, you know, I need to hug this. Tapos, ang drama kasi parang yung iyak namin, parang mamamakay na ako. Yes, it's really hard. After radiotherapy sessions, parang lumiliit na po siya. And then, noong 2017, um, may nasalihan po akong contest, yung camera giveaway. Pagka 2018, um, shoot na po ako sa mga kasal, debut. But then, yung puhod ko pa noon, gumagamit lang po ako ng baston and stuff para makalakad lang po ako ng maayos. So, kaya nga po siguro busy, wala, hindi na po na-follow up. So, yun sa mga, mga kamalian natin namin sa buhay, hindi namin na-follow up. So, ayun na nga. But when September 8th last year came, yung tuhod ko po, nabungo siya sa ilalim ng lamesa. Namaga po siya. They found out na may tatlo po hong bukol sa tuhod. Luckily, yung cancer ko po, hindi po po kumalan. So, kinimo para ma-reduce yung size niya. It's November 9th. It's my second round of my chemo today. That's my second drug already. And later after an hour, um, we have an, I have another two drugs left. Either kukunin yung lahat ng bukol and then they're gonna connect the two bones but you cannot bend your leg forever or you're gonna amputate it. There will be a tendency na to kubo po ulit yung, yung bukol kasi every nga three years, na-operahan po ako. Sabi ko, go tayo, magpa-amputate tayo. This might be the last time that my feet were gonna touch the grass. Oh yes. Sabi ko, I, I really want to have a memorable way of saying goodbye to my leg. So, pumunta kami sa hospital, may dara akong tatlong Sharpies. Tapos, classmates ko sa college, pinapunta ko. So, ayun, ang saya ang katita ng doctor ko. Jubel, sabi ko sa iyo, sa ilalim mo ng tubod. There might be a tendency na mag infection ito. Life is really different if you're gonna lose a part of your body. But luckily, I, I did not regret to choose um, amputation kasi nga po. Um, unlike before, I used to have the 
pain levers, like I take them four to, every four to six hours. Tapos, suki ko pa si Mara yung salon pass. Pinipilit ako naman ko, yung mga friends ko, yung classmate ko, job, job, YouTube ka kasi madaldal ka. Pero ako kasi medyo taba na taba, nakakataba, mag-edit talaga. I hope you support me guys, so bye! Si Jubel kasi self-proclaimed na guys, maganda ako, ganito, ganito. Eh, yung best friend ko na got irritated. Jubel, you're not pretty, you're cute. Hinintay ko lang po na i-amputate ako, kaya chinage ko pa siya cute sa cutie to amputee. So, the first vlog, mag-anniversary na po ako, actually. Ito yung damit ko sa first vlog ko, October 19th. So, yun, actually, I, na board lang po ako nun. I didn't expect that I will get a lot of support from the people around. Yes, it's ironic nga po, kasi minsan, I get sad. Tapos, ako, pinapanood ko po yung sarili kong vlog para lang mag-motivate sa sabi ko. Tapos, minsan nakakatawa na ba to yung sarili kong advice pinakikinggan ko? How do we stay positive even though our our surrounding is negative? You know, first, always believe that there is something good in everything. It's just a bad day. It's just a bad situation but not a bad life after all. And that's my leg. That's the knee of my leg. Well, my leg is auto bend. Yeah, that's the back part. I'm gonna show you how to bend it. Look. Yeah, oh, see? It's bending. All right. When I already know how to manage the leg, I really want to go to church and and kneel. I always dream about myself um, kneeling with two legs. It will symbolize as as um nandito si Lord all throughout my journey and even though I already lose the leg Hi future self I know you've been through really a lot remember why you started remember the reason why you are you are holding things for so long even it's already breaking you and crushing you future self you're you're doing good you're you're, you're good like Kaya mo yan. And every every struggle that you that you will you will undergo, alam ko kaya kaya mo yan. Basta just stay strong and pray lang talaga kay Lord. So kaya mo yan sa. We still have a lot of of, of plans to reach. Kaya laban. Madali yon. I am Jibel Pintaay, a cancer fighter, and this is my boys in hashtag I can stand. Ate, I just want you to know that I'm so, 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 so proud of you and happy for you. Keep inspiring people. Hi, Pat. We've been friends for almost seven years now. And I'm lucky enough to witness how a noisy girl like you became an amazing woman. I just want to say that you are one of the strongest women I know in my life and one of my inspirations. Keep smiling and bye bye. I love you. Uh, hi, Nene. Uh, stay humble. Stay be a cutie. Uh, be take care of yourself always. Uh, even though we have uh, a lot of sacrifices before, uh, at least for now, you are in good health, na. Uh, stay the way you are keep smiling